Hey Renegade Golfers, Coach Stephen here, and today I'm joined by one of our Renegade Junior Golf Extraordinaires, Kylie. Rock on, Kylie. She's with us today because we're going to talk again about flexibility, but we're going to come at it from a different angle today. We're going to talk about the question, can someone be too flexible, and should everybody stretch? And the answers are, yes, some people are too flexible, and no, not everyone should stretch. So the question that then arises, of course, is how do you know? And uh, the best way, of course, the gold standard is to come on in and have a, a qualified golf fitness professional take it through an assessment. But short of that, I'm going to show you a test today that you can do in just a matter of a couple of minutes that will give you a pretty good idea of where you fall on the continuum of being too tight and stretching a lot and being too loose and never stretching. It's called the Roccabato 9-point flexibility test. And I've invited Kylie to come today because she is on one end of the spectrum. She's hypermobile. And I'm, on the other end, I'm tight ass. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the test. I'm going to show you the nine different possible points. And you're going to go ahead and score each other. It's not a, it's not a good or a bad. This is kind of your hereditary uh, flexibility that you're born with. So it's not good or bad, but it's good to know where you stand and be able to adjust your flexibility program and your workouts accordingly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold our arm up at 90 degrees and we're going to see if we can take the thumb and touch it to your forearm. You see, I cannot do that on, the, on my right side or on my left side. So now you'll see Kylie, however, can touch her thumb all the way. It's kind of gross than I know. It doesn't hurt though, right? Okay. Can touch her thumb on both sides to her forearm. So she gets two points. I still have zero. She's very competitive and loves to win, but there, really it's not good or bad. So she's got two, I have zero. Next, we're going to look at our pinky finger. We're going to hold that up and see if you can, without hurting yourself, bend it back to 90 degrees. I cannot do that on either side. Now, Kali, on the other hand, can actually do that. She has even more flexibility in that joint there. So she ends up getting two more points, four to zero. Uh, next, we go to the elbow. So I'm going to put my arms out like this. And we're going to see if my arms can go at least 10 degrees into hypermobility range. I cannot, if you, but I'll show you what it looks like when you can. So Kylie, step in here. And you'll see on Kylie, her arms go the wrong way, uh, even more than 10 degrees even. So she gets a point for the right and a point for the left. Six to nothing, she's forging ahead. Uh, I have long pants on, so you can't see this, but my knees do not hyperextend. They only go to about a lock position. That's about it. Kali, on the other hand, you'll see her knees go the wrong way a little bit, bending back a good 10 degrees. So she's now got eight. I still have zero. The final test is can you keep your feet together, legs locked, and touch your palms to the floor. I can get my fingertips to the floor, but not my palms. Now, Kylie has had a couple of back issues, so she does not do this one. And that's probably the only reason why she's not a nine out of nine, but she's an eight out of nine, which still is on the high end of the hypermobility scale. So, what does it mean when you do this test and you get your score? Well, if you're a zero to two like I am, it's pretty normal, pretty common, it means you're pretty tight and you'll probably be doing some sort of flexibility training for the rest of your life. Not only for performance in the golf course, but also so you feel good and have vitality in your everyday activities. If you're a three, four, or five, you're somewhere in the middle range, you'll do some stretching in some areas, some areas you won't need to stretch. If you're a six to nine, though, like Kylie is, we would consider you hypermobile and have you not stretch at all. You might do some mobility drills for certain areas of your body, but traditional stretching is out. The reason being, you already have too much range of motion around the joints. What we want to do instead is to stabilize you and to strengthen you, enabling you to then generate power. So what that means for your workout, we would not have you go into full range of motion on every exercise. Instead, we shorten the range of motion, add a bit more load, again, creating stability and strength and eventually power. So go ahead, take yourself through the test, adjust your flexibility and your workout schedule accordingly. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below in the blog. I'll get back to you. We're here to help. Let's get out there and get after old man Park.